Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to debug iOS Safari issues on your Mac. Now, as you can see here, we have a bug where this card is overflowing its container, and this bug only happens on Safari on iOS. That's it. So how do we solve this? Well, we load up the simulator, which comes with Xcode. So first install Xcode, then load up your website using the local host or whatever domain you use to access your site within the simulator. Now, after your applications open in the simulator, head over to Safari. In Safari, you'll head to Preferences, then Advanced, and make sure Show Develop Menu in Menu Bar is selected. From here, what you can do with Safari selected, you can select the Develop Menu, and then head over to Simulator, and then select the tab in which you're wanting to debug. After you click that, you can see that we have our dev tools here, along with a resize observer loop error, which means that that is likely what's going on. Now, after a page refresh, you can see the loop is gone as I've added throttling to my resize observer. And while I still have some CSS issues to take care of here, that issue has largely been fixed. So this is how you solve bugs in iOS using Safari. Notice how you can use any of the network or timelines or storage or console or anything that you're used to in your local development setup, and you're doing so directly on a real iOS device rather than a browser window that has been shrunk. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.